Hey guys, welcome back! The honey badger is the world's most brave creature, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The honey badger is a large, powerful mammal with a terrible case of megalomania. What makes it so fearless, though? Honey badgers should be brave for a variety of reasons. Welcome back to Nature is Phenomenal, and stick with me until the very end, as I have a lot for you concerning these creatures. There are various reasons as to why the honey badger is fearless, starting from its skin to its intelligence and many more. Let's take a look. First, they have a quarter-inch thick, rubbery skin that is so resistant to arrows and spears that it has been demonstrated to be practically impenetrable to them. Furthermore, their skin can withstand a full stroke from a sharp machete without being chopped through completely. The honey badger's skin protects him from predators' fangs in more practical terms. Honey badgers have thick, durable skin that is also a little loose, allowing them to move around easily. This is especially important if it is pursued by larger predators and falls into their clutches. It can then scribble in its skin, displaying its massive claws and sharp-toothed teeth to the predator who is holding it. If an animal has the honey badger in its jaws, it is extremely dangerous unless it can kill it immediately, which is difficult to do. By wriggling around, they may wreak havoc on the creature's face and eyes. It's feasible that such contact will cause it to expire. It's possible that the animal that killed it would be wary of attacking another of its type. It turns out that keeping a honey badger safe from damage is practically impossible. Grabbing the creature by the back of the neck and holding it at arm's length in the air is said to be a safe way to hold it, but there aren't many willing test subjects. Along with their razor-sharp teeth, honey badgers have exceptionally strong jaws. Because the honey badger will swallow the entire victim, even the bones, this is helpful. The jaws are strong enough to suffocate a turtle whole. Furthermore, they are unaffected by even venom. Puff adders can bite them repeatedly without injuring them, but a puff adder bite that enters their skin will put them to sleep for a few hours. Although it is unknown how the honey badger's physiology combats the effects of various forms of lethal venom, it is considered that if the snakes attack them frequently enough, the poison would finally kill the honey badger. The honey badger is a wonderfully clever mammal, in addition to its endurance. It's also been seen using tools to trap animals. They're also intelligent enough to follow honey guide birds to beehives in order to consume the larvae and honey. They also have a reversible anal pouch with a powerful suffocating odor. This odor has been detected as a secondary defense against large predators such as lions. The honey badger appears to be fearless due to his excellent innate defensive and offensive ability. Because the species is so aggressive, few predators who would ordinarily try to eat something the size of a honey badger have chosen to avoid it. Honey badgers are avoided by predators like lions and leopards, but lions and leopards have been known to kill them. Simultaneously, they have been seen chasing lions away from kills and claiming those kills for their own consumption. Now for some additional facts on honey badgers. Honey guides are birds that assist honey badgers in locating hives. The bird will then wait for the honey badger to finish its meal. The honey guide will fly in after the honey badger has left and consume the remaining larvae and beeswax. Porcupines, tiny crocodiles, berries, roots, and other foods are eaten by honey badgers. In other words, they'll devour the animal's dead body if they come to find it. They also enjoy fruits, which are one of their key sources of hydration, along with blood. Snakes account for over half of the food consumed by honey badgers. The home range of male honey badgers is around 200 square miles. Females have a 50 square mile territory all to themselves. Honey badger populations are in steep decline as a result of their broad home ranges, which are increasingly spanning areas with dense human populations. They have a poor reproduction rate as well. Honey guides have also been observed bringing humans to honey to eat the leftover scraps. When the Boran people want to find honey, they use a particular whistle to attract a honey guide. Honey badgers are solitary hunters and dwellers who prefer to spend their time alone. During the breeding season, they have been seen hunting together. 
They dig tunnels with a corridor leading to a bare nesting site, as is typical of their environment. Honey badgers are capable of digging swiftly through hard soil. Thanks so much for watching! That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, like and comment right below, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and turn on the post notification so that you don't miss any videos from us in the future. With that, see you in the next video.